Jim, that's what you want in a first home league game of the season, isn't it? 4-1. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it was important to try and win the game in the correct manner. Um, you know, I thought we actually started the game the first couple of minutes a little bit sloppy in some of the passes and cheap turnovers in possession. But, um, you know, after the first five, I thought we, you know, completely dominated the ball and uh, worked it into some good areas. Um, you know, people, no doubt, will talk about St Mirren going down to 10 men. And, of course, it does have a big influence on the game. But... You know, it's sometimes very difficult to play against ten men. You've still got to find a way to break them down. And you know, Sitmer and sat quite deep. There wasn't a you know great deal of space. But in fairness to to my boys, they they kept passing, they kept probing, they looked for the gaps, and eventually got them. So um, yeah, very comfortable at half time. The message was not to allow the game to to drop the standards and the tempo and try and keep that level of intensity. But unfortunately, we weren't really able to do that for long enough spells in the second half. And, um, you know, we, we allowed Sitmer and back into it with a really poor uh, penalty, a, a poor free kick initially. But although I you know, have to say, I thought the free kick was a bit soft. I thought the penalty was a bit soft. But then when it goes back to 3-1, all of a sudden it's game on again. But um, probably could have had another couple of goals as well. You know, Mayovsky's had a couple of decent opportunities. Uh, their keepers made a couple of decent saves. But, you know, before the game, if you'd have offered me a, a 4-1 convincing victory, I would have snapped the hand off you. I just want a bit more consistency in the second half in our play. And um, if we do that, then we go and score six or seven today. Leighton Clarkson probably didn't expect to be on the pitch quite so early, but it didn't seem to bother him. What an outstanding performance from him. Yeah, no, I've got to give great credit to the young man. Um, you know, I was at Cormac Park last night at 10 o'clock with, with the director of football, Stephen Gunn, um, Leighton's mum and dad and Leighton's girlfriend. And we were there with the physio and the doctor trying to get the medical push through. Um, we were still waiting on paperwork this morning, um, up until about half past 11, waiting on the international clearance to come from the English FA. But eventually we got there and um, he was straight into the squad. He's trained you know, with Liverpool's first team for the majority of pre-season, so we knew he was fit enough. And um, you know, I was always planning on giving him his debut, but not uh, quite as early as that. And you know, unfortunately, in disappointing circumstances, because uh, you know, obviously Hayden Coulson had to be uh, taken off with a, a serious ankle injury. So I don't want to speculate too much on that. Hopefully, um, you know, he'll get an MRI scan on Monday and hopefully it won't be as bad as first feared. But right now, he's, he's not in a great place. But um, Leighton you know, deserves a lot of plaudits. You know, he, he had one shot, I think, about maybe seven or eight minutes before his goal where he kind of sliced it wide. Um, a testament to the boy and the character of the boy that he's willing to go and try it again. And uh, a fantastic strike. Not even just his goal, just his ability on the ball. You know, technically very, very good and suits the way that we want to play. Bojan Miofsky has gone to three goals for the club already, three in two games, and another emphatic penalty. Uh, and his second goal was just all about awareness and sharpness in a striker, wasn't it? Anticipating the, the deflection on the Johnny Hayes cross. Yeah, I mean, that was a, you know, a slight criticism I had of the players in the first half. And, you know, we showed them on the big screen with the analyst. Um, you know, I felt we were putting hopeful balls into the box where Bojan sometimes was on his own and was isolated. And he's playing against three giants, you know, in Gallagher, Shaughnessy and, and Dunn. Uh, but the ball from Johnny Hayes was completely different. You know, it was just fed in nicely into that near post along the deck. Boyan's movement is excellent. I, I, I thought the keeper was favourite, but he managed to get his toe out and, and, uh, and poke it into the net. So delighted for him. And, and by the way, he's only, I would say, 75% of the level of fitness that we need him to be. But I saw last week um, that sharpness starting to come and he's working hard with Graham Kirk, a sports scientist, and um, another couple of weeks and you'll really see the best of him. But he's a top, top player, 23 years old, um, you know, really good technically, but always seems to find himself in the right areas, both on the training pitch and here now at Pataudry, which is fantastic to see. It's a great first three Premiership points of the season, but I guess you're stressing to everybody uh, with great satisfaction about what's happened today. It's just the start, uh, and August can be can be a good month for picking up quite a lot of points. Yeah, I mean, look, I want our fans to, you know, the guys who are watching this at home and the guys who are leaving the stadium today, you know, going to the pub for a couple of pints. I want them to be excited. I want them to enjoy their evening, uh, but I don't want anybody getting carried away. And uh, most of all, my players, you know. Um, and my staff, you know, we, we played for large periods of the game against 10 men. So we should be dominating the ball and we should be able to break them down. Um, I just, I, I'm really pleased in the manner that we've done it in the opening 45. thought we finished the game relatively strong as well, the last 10 minutes. But um, yeah, I mean, enjoy it. It's three points. You know, I've not won many games 4-1 as manager, I can assure you of that. So 
I'm not going to be over critical, but we do have parts of our game that we need to improve on. You know, we need to start games better. We've done it against Wraith Rovers here in the last League Cup game where we were a little bit sloppy with them passes across the back line and we need to cut them out. It's as simple as that. But um, all in all, delighted with the, the performance. You know, our, our boys won't come up against a much more physical team than that. You know, they're all, there's six or seven of those St. Brennan lads who are six foot two, six foot three plus and we've had to roll our sleeves up. The two centre-backs have had to go and compete and be aggressive and I said a couple of weeks ago, you know, we have to be able to do both sides of the game. We might have small players, but, you know, those small players are willing to fight and scrap. And we have to be able to, at times, roll our sleeves up, go and get stuck in. But on other occasions, we've got the ability to get the ball down and play. And we want to be an entertaining football team at the end of the day. And I think the last three home games that we've had here, uh, the Dumbarton game, the Wraith Rovers game, and now today, I think the fans are starting to see what we're trying to do and the type of team we want to become. Well done, Jim. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Rob.